I went to school as usual, and uh, when we were on the streetcar, my friend Teddy and I, going to school, uh, we saw fire engines around uh, the uh, main synagogue at Berner Platz, and uh, well, you know, we were tempted, but obviously we went out to school. When we uh, got to the uh, gate of the schoolyard, we were told by the custodian to go back home because the uh, school was closed. There would be no school that day or for, or for the foreseeable future. Uh, we would get a letter when school starts again. And uh, in due course, uh, obviously, we went home. We took the streetcar home. I went to uh, my apartment. My mother opened the apartment door and told me to do my homework and to play quietly because my father was sick in bed. Uh, I remember doing my homework, at least started doing it, and then the doorbell rang incessantly and two Gestapo agents burst into the apartment. They were in civilian clothing and um, they had come to arrest my father and my older brother. When they found out my father was sick in bed, uh, he had pneumonia, uh, I guess for some members of the Gestapo, it was still early enough in the Nazi regime, there was sort of a grudging middle-class civility. And so they said, all right, you have a medical certificate at Gestapo headquarters by the end of the day, otherwise we'll come back. Then they wanted to arrest my 18-year-old brother, but my brother was Swiss. He was born in Luzern. His father had died when he was six weeks old, so he never knew his father. He was my half-brother. But we were the only two siblings. When he showed him a Swiss passport, they knew they couldn't arrest him. So they, very disgruntledly, they ripped the phone out of the wall and stalked out. That essentially was the, uh, the ba my basic experience with Kristallnacht.